Hey guys, so today I've come to the Enfield pageant. Apparently it's a very historic show, but it's the first time that I've ever been to one of these. Looks like the crowd is gathering. There's a nice lineup of cars. Look behind me, you can see a ton of cars there. When I parked there, there was nobody here. Now all of a sudden there's, there's tons of great cars there. I'm in the pre-2000 section, obviously, because I've got my VCG BMW from 1989. But there's lots of cool cars, including what I see over there, which I've got to go check out, is a Starsky and Hutch. Ford Gran Torino. This show looks like it's going to be fun. Brown car guy. Hello there. Look at this. Isn't this the Starsky and Hutch car? Who are you? And tell me a little bit about this. Well, um, I'm, my real name's Dave, but um, they call me Starsky for some reason. Um, you have the hair. Everybody, well, yeah, everybody knows me as Starsky. <laughs> I mean, I can be in the high street somewhere walking along and somebody go, hello, Starsky. Excellent. So they kind of know me from that. But it's a long story, really, about how I got the car. I, um, no, 2004 was when I got it. And um, I flew to America, San Diego, in fact, um, the following day when I'd been diagnosed with my first lot of cancer. Ah, sorry to hear that. Uh, no, sorry. And uh, I always wanted one, watching it on TV and stuff. Yeah. So uh, I thought, you know, one day I'm going to have one. And then um, my partner said to me, well, she said, just said, go and get it. Yeah. So I went over to America, and um, the guy was building them over there, replicas. And um, so I bought it, and it came, uh, got it back. And uh, basically, I've done quite a lot with it, car shows. So this is a specialist builder over there that was making these as replicas? He was, yeah. yeah. He's gone bust now. Oh, I dear. He, I think he ran out of cars to do. I don't right, know, right, but, right. But um, So do you know how many he would have made of these? Um, this is number six oh, right. of what he made. Okay. Uh, I think to myself, I go get the car out, go yeah. for a drive. Yeah. And it puts a smile on people's faces and they wave and they take pictures. And I think to myself, I feel better now. So Isn't that there. amazing? Isn't it that is, incredible? Yeah. I mean, to it be is. able to not only enjoy something that you love, but yeah. to be able to spread that joy and Absolutely. kind of have that reflect back on you, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's all about putting a smile on people's faces. You do get a few people who get a bit confused and yeah. <laughs> shout out yee-haw, thinking it's oh, right. a Dukes of Hazzard. Oh, but, yes, but of course. But of course, we all know what it is. Yeah. Really, so, yeah. uh, Car yeah. is awesome. It's also parked next to this really incredible police car which is not just a regular police car but it's got it's blood splattered there's, yep. there's severed limbs in it what's <laughs> going on is that, is, that, is that a buddy of yours yes a mate of mine yeah, yeah arnold he um it, it's um resident evil 2 right um that's a game isn't it it is a game right. yeah but that's a replica of that and um so yeah, this is it's a zombie level. car, basically. So this is next level. So like most people bring movie replica cars. He's yeah. got a game replica yeah. car. Yeah, well, that's incredible. Sometimes it, you know, it's nice to be different, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's got the severed limbs and things in it. So uh, one yeah. final question: When yeah. you drive this thing around, do you play the Starsky Nash theme? Uh, sometimes I do. Excellent. <laughs> and and sometimes um, I have been known to have uh, messages from the TV series, you know, all right. Zebra 3 and all yes, that sort of stuff. So and I play those on the CD sometimes <laughs> through the loudspeaker or through the um, PA. That's awesome. Dude, you absolutely rock. The car is sensational. Thanks so much for having it. Thanks it's so much great. for bringing it. And no thanks worries. for talking to me. Yeah, brilliant. Take care now. My name's Robert. I'm one of the trustees of White Webb's Museum of Transport in Enfield. And the pageant here behind us is our main fundraising event. And this is its 44th year. 44 years? Yeah. Wow, it's and been going a very, very long it time. It has been going a very long time. And how yes. well attended is this event? Extremely well. We, the, today we have about 700 cars coming in and it's entirely run by volunteers. And is there a theme for the event or is it basically any classic cars? It's any classic car pre-2000 registered. Right. But we do also let in hot rods, uh -huh. uh, modern Ferraris, Lamborghinis, that yeah. sort of thing as well. Yeah. So ultimately anything cool. <laughs> Any, anything cool, yeah, anything that's going to excite the audience. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what sort of footfall do you get when you talk about audience? Do you get uh, a lot of people come in? We, we get about 10,000 or so over wow. the two days. Oh, wow. It's normally over two days, is it? It's normally two days. It used to be three, but yeah. we found the bank holiday Monday didn't work very well because a lot of participants wanted to go before yeah. then. Yeah. So we've restricted it now to two yeah. days. Yeah. And is it, is it clubs that come to this or individuals? It, it's a or? mixture. We yeah. have a club section down behind me on the left yeah. and also individual people just coming on the day. Yeah. So there's a lot of variety of cars here. It's a fantastic yeah. day out. Tell me a little bit about the museum itself. Yeah, the museum, uh, again, is run by volunteers in Enfield. 
and uh, it started in 1992. Wow. Uh, and it's a mixture, it's, it's in, a, in an old pumping station, so it has a 200 foot well at the bottom of it. Oh and, it and it has a mixture of classic cars, motorbikes, bicycles, and local mem memorabilia around, from yeah. around the Enfield area. Yeah, amazing, amazing. I need to get down there and have a look at you that do. as well. Yes. Well, yeah, fantastic day. I'm looking forward to catching up with some people here and checking out some amazing cars. Thanks for talking You're to me. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming. David and yeah that is my bullet Mustang. Tell me about the car, it's a, it's a genuine 68 uh, fastback? It is, um, obviously probably everyone said this, when they saw the film they decided they wanted a bullet Mustang or a similar car and I did and years later I managed to have a few bob which uh, allowed me to do that and then I spent the rest of the time making it as close to the original car as possible. So. And there's somebody in it it looks like. <laughs> Who's yeah, in there? Should we go meet him? Introduce me to who's in there. That's my co-driver. Is it? Yeah. He looks very familiar. Yeah. That's Steve. Steve McQueen. Hello, Steve. How are you doing today? He's not. He's so cool. He doesn't say much, does he? No, he so never did. Me, so, I know exactly. <laughs> so tell me about Steve. How did How did Steve uh, come back to life? Well, <laughs> if this goes out, I'm going to be dead. <laughs> I had a friend I went to school with called Chris, and he looked like Steve McQueen. Really? And um, I bought this, and he decided he'd like a, a classic car, so it made sense that he bought the black Dodge Charger. Right, right, of course. So he bought the Charger, and because he looked so much like Steve McQueen, we right. swap, swap cars. Right. So we used to draw, I'd drive the Charger, he'd yeah. drive this. And then, sadly, as age caught up with us, he got old and wrinkled. Oh, right, yeah. And I thought, can't he... use him as Steve McQueen anymore. <laughs> so, ruthlessly, you thought, I need to yeah, replace him. I replaced him with a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> How does he feel about that? <laughs> oh, it's, it's a big joke, you know, uh, everybody fair enough, laughs. Fair you know. Enough. Yeah. But tell me about the car. I mean, the car is really authentic. And you, I mean, first of all, actually, let me look at Steve's clothing here. And including, he's got a watch, he's got a um, cigarette. Is that the correct watch? Yeah, and he's got, if I can reach. He's got the gun belt. The correct, correct gun. That's correct the correct holster, gun. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. I mean, you have really, I mean, how long did it take you to recreate Steve McQueen? Well, I was ever very optimistic. I, um, I thought I'd be able to make one in about three months. I had yeah. a help from a woman that um, did some of the work, yeah. and, but mainly, and I put him together and it didn't look exactly what I wanted, so I did him again and again. And after about six efforts to get him yeah. right, I came up with this one. And guys in the club said, you know, when, when are you gonna finish it? Anyway, I told them that I was bringing it to the next show. Yeah. And they all crowded around the car yeah. and looked at each other. And I looked at them and they said, what have you done a model of Bobby Moore for? <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievably cruel because I think he looks absolutely amazing. So Actually, do I. I saw so him, do I. <laughs> I saw him from a distance and I was freaked out, honestly. I was like, oh my God, he's actually come back to life. This is crazy. <laughs> now, the car itself, tell me, what were you telling me about the wheels? And well, the, you've actually got the camera mounting points. I can actually yeah, see them yeah. from here. Yeah, the, the wheels were made for uh, Corvettes because they had bigger brake bigger, bigger brake drum, uh, drake brakes on them, bigger discs. So they, they were called Torque Thrust D's, yeah, D for the disc. Thrust, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when, uh, when Carol Shelby heard about them, he was having trouble stopping his cars and he was messing about with the yeah. GT40s. So he, he, wanted to, um, he wanted to see if they would work. So uh, Carol Shelby phoned up uh, American racing and asked for some blanks so that he could drill them for a Ford which he did 
And when Steve McQueen saw them, he said to Carol Shelby, so the story goes, um, I like those wheels, I'd like them for the film yeah, I'm doing. That's amazing. And so he got... A, and and this, this is actually, this is not the movie, this is you guys. Yeah, that's us uh, racing around Silverstone. Wow, um, and this is where people can see it if they search yeah, for this. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and he's got some nerve, hasn't he? Look, yeah, I know, it's all we've got the the wheels <laughs> up. Yeah. That's amazing. And so you, this car, I mean, how much melts. did you have to do to this car to get it like this? Oh, it's, it isn't something you do in, in 10 minutes. Yeah. You, you, you say, right, I'm going to do it, and yeah. then you get do one bit of it, and then a year later yeah. you see something else, and yeah. you think, oh, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, if, uh, if yeah. we walk around to the yeah. driver's side. Let's do it, yeah. Um, Steve McQueen used to forget to turn the indicators off when he was racing, when he was right. in the chase. Right. So he had to turn them on to let the camera car know that which way he was going to swerve. Right, but right. But he kept for, forgetting right. to turn them off. Interesting. So they made that extra turn signal for him so that he could see it flashing. Oh, my goodness. And uh, turn it off because they, they, wow. they, they threw a lot of film How away. How did you even find that out? Because I've, I've, I've obviously read a lot about the car chase. I've watched the video on loop many, many times, but I never realised that that was there. Yeah, I mean, you know, I suppose I'm a bit of an anorak. I, <laughs> I did the research on it, yeah, looked yeah, at it. Yeah. Um, he had silver paper on in the roof, and I gathered that was to get reflection from the light. Yes, to keep the, the light, yeah. All of those sort of things. Wow, so, wow, you know, and you that just, is amazing. You know, and you, you go to shows and people say, well, that's not right, and this is not right, and you sort of question it, and then you think... Yeah. That guy was right, you yeah. know, so you don't know everything, you know. It's, That's uh, amazing. Well done, man. This car is absolutely amazing, but the I think the highlight of the show for me already today has been to meet Steve McQueen. Yeah, well, <laughs> he's not very sociable. Though, no, he's he? not, but he looks <laughs> cool and that's good enough. <laughs> There's more to what you're doing here today, because actually this is a club, isn't it? Yeah, it's Motion Picture Motors. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about the club. Well, um, we started the club about... 18 years ago oh wow um and uh it, it we decided that we wanted to s start a club we we wanted to do stuff for charity good, so to good, most good, of the good. shows we go to we raise money we, yeah. we're not a charity but people ask us to yeah of course raise money for them yeah. so all sorts we raise for yeah uh, we do about 30 shows a year um how many cars in the club there's uh, actively there's probably about 80 but with, yeah. there's about 150 200 80 I mean so that, and let's turn this around because so you've got one of these cars behind you this is the lineup of cars here which is incredible and when you say 80 cars this is 80 cars that are movie related or movie tribute cars etc they're, they're, they're either movie related or they're of exceptional interest there's something right. really interested about them I mean, oh, okay. obviously, so there doesn't have to be a movie connection then. No, not oh, okay. completely. So, so if a co oh, so what do you mean by exceptionally interesting? It's like there's something that's really cool, basically. Yeah, like yeah. A, like a taxi. Yeah. I mean, that's been in hundreds of thousands yeah, yeah, of yeah, movies. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was a, a embassy car in Belgium, and it had all the dignitaries from right. from America. Right. And they came over. They were driven yeah. round yeah. uh, Belgium in that car. It could have had anybody in it, anybody famous. Yeah. And I think these are beautiful cars. I mean, you look at the grill on it. And it's see stunning. The it's yeah, absolutely we, stunning. Look at this thing. So this, so this, of course, is a pink Cadillac, which, you yeah, know. Yeah, the Elvis Presley song. Elvis Cadillac. Presley song, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's obviously interesting. Yeah, it's just, it just goes on forever, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. I mean, literally, like, I have not finished filming this. I'm still walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still walking. Yeah. It's just like, it never stops. You it's need a incredible. big garage for one of those. Yeah, I bet you do, yeah. yeah. I love these. These are very good. Chevelle SSs. Yeah, they're, they're, they're such quite, cool cars. They're, they're not common cars. Yeah. They're quite, 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 you know, rare car. I'd rock one of these. It's got my initials on it as well, because <laughs> I'd shake, so I... <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'd rock one of those. I think they're really cool. Another Mustang. Um... 1965 Ford Mustang Fastback. So yeah. this is not based on a movie car. This is again, like you said, no, a car of exceptional a, interest. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it yeah. is. Because it, it's, it's a not sort like of an Eleanor type. Yeah, look, I was going to say yeah. it's almost an Eleanor, but it's yeah. not quite an Eleanor. So I'm Rory, and uh, this is uh, one of my Ford Crown Victorias. Uh, this is the a 2011 one, um, made within the last year. Uh, sorry, made within the last. Uh, one or two months of uh, the mending production. So, yeah. And this, but this is a genuine police car? It's a genuine, uh, it's what they call a P7B. So, right. um, the Crown Victoria police ones used to be called the P71, and then from 2009 onwards, they 
they ran out of serial numbers, so they called right. them the P7Bs. Yeah. So this is actually a 2011 car, yeah. um, made in July 2011, and Crown Victoria production ended in uh, August or September of that year. So it's one of the very last ones. And where did it serve? So this was served, This was actually in Orlando. Uh -huh. uh, it came over to the UK about a year ago, but it was stripped. There was no livery. Oh, and, okay. Um, so I had the light bar installed. And then I wanted then a livery that was accurate for that light bar. So the and I like the wheel trims as well. And I like the look of that. So, so is it the correct livery on it now? No, not for Orlando. This right. is so this is the livery correct the light bar. So if you went to um, Arkansas right. County, then this is the sheriff livery for right. that. So right. I just like that look and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. everything matches perfectly. Yeah. So, yeah. so what is it about a police car that made you want it so much? Um, I think it's probably just because any, every kind of American, like um, police movie or yeah. any most American movies, yeah. have got a Crown Vic in them. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, when you sort of see it on your TV, you think, yeah, yeah I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so and do you do the whole? Uh, have you got a uniform and stuff? Do you do? The I have an NYPD uniform. My first, <laughs> my first American cop car um, was an NYPD one, so I got yeah. the NYPD uniform, which yeah. I've, uh, I used to be private hire license for doing yeah. proms and things like yeah. that. Um, I've still got an NYPD Chevy Impala. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I got that. Oh, so you have another one as well. I've got a few Crown Vics, and oh, I've got oh, the Impala excellent. as well. Excellent. So yeah, you kind of sort of get addicted to that. And what sort of reaction do you get when you drive these around on the road? Um, generally speaking, I'd say probably about ninety-nine percent positive. Yeah. Um, we went to Ace Cafe uh, myself and a couple of the other guys in my American police car group. Um, last uh, I think it was last weekend and occasionally you sort of pull up along the 406 and yeah. the people would would have a little go yeah. at the kind of anti-police kind of comments right. and things, which is a bit of a shame but you're always going to get some yeah 99% of the time it's thumbs up and what about, and what about other police fine I've, I've they never, must love I've, it yeah they, they do <laughs> they do I've most of them have said most of them have actually commented on the um the search light yeah. the spotlight thing yeah. and said that's actually a really handy thing yeah um and uh, you know, to actually, the, especially at sort of night time, yeah. sort of look down alleys and that kind of stuff. And we've got Herbie here as yeah. well. Check it, the love bug. Yeah. How can you not love the love bug? Everybody loves a Herbie, right? <laughs> That's Steve's Herbie. Is Steve around? Guys oh, called Steve. Yep. You'll see him. He's got yep. his Herbie outfit on if he's about. But the interesting thing I noticed just now is, of course, you've got the paraphernalia and you've got all the thing, but you've got the helmet in the back as well. Yeah. That's brilliant. Check that yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the guys go out of the out of yeah. their way to, you know, put on a good presentation. Yeah. And also, is that important? Kids, is that yeah, important? Yeah. Well, for the children, the kids yeah. come over. We allow them, if they ask, yeah. uh, to sit in the cars, yeah. have their picture taken. Yeah. There's no charge for any of yeah. that. If they want to put some money in the charity yeah. box, that's up to them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. So we, who gets most excited when they, when you come to shows like this and you line up the cars? Is well, it is it the kids or is it the adults? I think I think adults do. Kids yeah. do. I mean, I have lots of people uh, wanting to sit next to Steve McQueen of and course. have their picture taken. Oh damn, that's a good side. idea. I yeah. need to do that now. Yeah, well, you can. You can. <laughs> next couple of shows, where where can people find you? Uh, people that might Brand, be watching Brands this. Brands Hatch next week. We do we do the Museum of Power. We do the Lawn. Like a website or something? Or yeah, uh, Motion Picture Motors Facebook page. Motion Picture Motors yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, yeah, That's great, yeah. mate. Thank you so much. It's an amazing lineup of cars. Thank you so much for talking me uh, around them. Okay, no problem at all. Nice to meet you in the in, in the flesh. In the flesh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm Alan. And uh, my Mini's uh, Mini 1000, British Leyland, uh, and I've had it about five years now. I've put new floors in it, new brakes, uh, tuned the engine a little bit, and uh, I love it. I love it to bits. And you've got plans for it, aren't you? You're turning it into a, uh, Monty, yeah, is it a Monty replica? I'm going to turn it into a, a Monty replica, yeah. yeah. Because our, our old Paddy Hopkirk, he yeah. was a great driver, you yeah. know. And, uh, and you used to do road rallies yourself as yes, well. Yes, I did indeed, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. also the other thing is you quite sadly told me that you actually sold your E30 recently. I did because of our Mayor Khan. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd better get rid of it before he brought that ULEZ in. Oh, man. You know? But now I've got free tax and... Uh, you less free cars. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm quite happy. <laughs> yeah. So you, so in the end, you're still smiling, though. Yeah, oh, definitely. <laughs>
any classic car is makes you smile. Yeah. You know, every time I get in my Mini, it brings a big smile to my face. That's and awesome. other people's. Uh, yes, exactly, exactly. Great to meet you, man. Thanks so much. And you. Thank you very much. This is so adorable. Thank you. Tell me about this car. It's a Honda Z600. Um, from 1970-72, just before the Civic came out, this was the car that they brought over, but these were at motorcycle dealerships before they had a, a proper yeah. Honda um, concession. How um, long have you had it? I've had this for about six years. It's called Krusty. Oh, nice. And that's what it was when I got it. It, uh, it took me a year to restore it. It looks lovely. What's your name? I'm Alan. Stanion. Nice to meet you, Alan. Thank you. A friend of mine's got something very similar. I thought it was him today. This is ah. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> lovely to meet you, mate. And Enjoy you. the day. Thank you. I will. It's a lovely day. Video. Have you really? Yeah, yeah you're right. So Tell me a bit about this amazing Porsche that you're in. Uh, it's a 911, it's a 1987er. Yeah. It's a 3.2 Cabriolet. Um, I've had it since November. Yeah. And why did you get it? Because uh, my dad had the car growing up as a really? kid. Really? Yeah. So you've always wanted one? Kind, yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah. But how long did it find, take you to find the right one though? A couple of years. Easily. Because to me, this is like the perfect 911. Yeah. Uh, when I think 911, I think like a late 80s 911, you know, with the Targa. This, this isn't the wide body, but it looks great as it is, right? Yeah, it's a standard uh, sport camera, yeah. Yeah. Uh, air cooled 3.2. And so now that you've had it since November, and you must remember it as a child, yeah. is it everything that you expected? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's just I couldn't drive it. <laughs> yeah, but did it fulfill that need? Did it like, did it like, yeah, this is actually as good yeah, as... Yeah, yeah, it did. Yeah, because yeah? I bought... you've had another 911, haven't you? You had a more modern one. Yeah, 996. Yeah. And, uh, so how that... does this compare to that? Similar in uh, the indicators and yeah. bits and pieces, <laughs> but it's a water-cooled yeah. engine and a um, bit more comfortable to drive. Yeah. But I had that for about six months yeah. and then I found this and then yeah. I just get rid of it. Yeah. Because I got fed up of it quite easily. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got fed up of this. So I'm, probably end up keeping this one. Really? Excellent. How often do you drive it? Nice days. Nice days. Yeah. It all makes sense. It's a convertible. Nice I don't want to ruin it. It's, uh, nice. it's an awesome car, man. Thank you have made you. me jealous. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Thanks so much and uh, thanks for talking to me. Thank you. No worries, man. <laughs> Brown car guy.
Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please, please hit the like button and share this video as well if you can. And while you're at it, check out these guys who also sponsor my content. I am deeply grateful to them because it helps me to buy new equipment, put fuel in the cars, and yes, buy a cup of coffee. You can do the same. Just go here or right here on YouTube. Just hit these three little dots down here and click on thanks. Make sure you're signed in first. My content is free. But this is how you can help me keep it that way. I may even send you a gift. Oh, by the way, watch this next.